beautiful souls welcome back to my channel wherever you are in the world today it is a pleasure to have you here and coming in off the back of yesterday beautiful souls big powerful energies we moved into Scorpio season and again I don't normally talk about star signs and astrological anything but it is something that you need to keep in the back of your mind when things are popping off around the world in the collective around you in your physical um, life, you know, people, places and things, families, work colleagues, workspaces, etc. You will be coming from a higher place of awareness when things, if they do happen, you'll be able to go, right, I'm coming from a higher perspective. I can also see why these things are playing out right now so that you won't necessarily be buying into the experience or the experiences that you are witnessing from an energetic personal level if that makes sense. So beautiful souls. Archangel Mary L was the first one out today and her message is, or his message is, sorry, manifest for the highest good. Work with pure love. Love is the highest frequency, beautiful souls. This is again why they keep trying to bring up the fear porn, as I call it, you know, on our TV sets and our news feeds and all of those things. They want to keep us down. They don't want the collective rising, right? If we were all emanating from a place of love, how do you think the world would look and function? right? So there's battles. That's why I said there's not only physical battles, there's spiritual battles happening right now in the spiritual realms, beautiful souls, as above, so below. And so beautiful souls, the clarifier to this was just incredible. Archangel Amethyst, purify your life with love. Prepare for something better. Because what happens when you go through death and rebirth? What happens when you, you know, let all the fear go and you just st you just stay in a place of love, right? Everything just opens up. Yesterday's message was quite deep, and it had a little bit of darkness around it, which is obviously Scorpio as well. But look at the lightness and the brightness in today's messages. So this is why I'm saying, beautiful souls, for some of you out there, it quite literally could be death and rebirth season for you in some way, shape or form. But just know that on the other side of this, whatever this is, there is something absolutely beautiful and magical they're saying because you are now being transformed and purified from the inside out. And so Archangel Mariel, Archangel Mariel is a glorious is a glorious magenta archangel, the pink. And you know I love wearing pink. Pink is a very beautiful color. It's a color of love, obviously, compassion, etc. The pink in the magenta affirms that he works with the highest and purest love, while the electric blue demonstrates the power of manifestation. And this is also a very big season for manifestation beautiful souls we are moving closer and closer to the 1111 portal this one i personally feel is going to be bigger and much more powerful than other years because we are now in the hebrew new year of 5784 which is also about manifestations and new everything like a whole new shift in dynamics we're also seeing it in the physical plane in the collective as well um, these portals, these grid points, as I said, much more powerful. I feel this in this um, in this season. He has come in from another universe to assist us all to ascension, because that is why we're here. He steps down through Orion, the plane of wisdom, and into his etheric retreat over the Himalayas, which is still the purest place on the planet. This is why I was talking about grid points and activation points and portals, beautiful souls, certain parts of the world right now that are under fire, literally, have major, major energetic portals and grid points there. So that's why, as well, beautiful souls, there are battles going on there right now. This is not just about what's going on in 3D world. This is also a spiritual war. 
He works closely with Archangel Mary and together they hold the magenta flame of divine feminine love. Archangel Mariel is in charge of the soul star chakras of humanity and awakens them so that we can all access our true knowledge and wisdom, right? Your soul star chakra, beautiful soul, sits above the crown chakra, probably up about here somewhere if you can see it on my head right there's more chakras beautiful souls it's not just about these ones in the physical body there's ones that are under our feet as well that go into the earth and obviously others that that literally are a conduit to the higher realms and we all have this but most of us have had them turned off they have been corrupted over thousands of years he is also helping to facilitate our merging with our higher self or soul as soon as we are ready. You have chosen this card today, suggesting you are ready to use your power of manifestation wisely. Right? There's a lot of dark manifestation on this earth still right now beautiful souls and as i said the earth is going to or it is going through a major purification process and it may feel like over these next couple of years things are literally blowing up you know um volcanoes um tsunamis there's going to be a lot of shifts in the in the weather patterns right fires but also there's going to be this purification coming in as well, beautiful souls. Everything must happen. There are prophecies coming true that already have come true, but some that are coming true right now. So it cannot be stopped. They're just saying you cannot stop the train. It's happening whether you want it to or not. But when we come from a higher place of awareness, beautiful souls, when we are emanating love into the world, all of this volatility and these changes can also be met with compassion and grace and kindness to make it a less intense experience, which is Scorpio, intensity. Um, first, you are invited to step into the magenta flame of divine feminine love to attune your soul star chakra to its highest and purest light. Then create a picture as clearly as possible within your navel or your third eye chakra. Raise it with concentration, focus and pure intention to your soul star chakra. Hold it there for a moment before you beam it out masterfully into the unmanifested realms. And that's what they don't want, beautiful souls. This is why the fear porn starts again. This is why they must... You know, like I always say, any, uh, spaghetti at a wall. Things start to calm down and our vibration starts to rise. So then they've got to throw a few little rocks and boulders into different places and scatter our energy and bring it back down again because they know how powerful humanity would be if we were all vibrating at this level. Well, they just wouldn't be able to exist on this earth plane, to be quite honest, beautiful souls. And many have exited right over these past few years already but there's still a lot that are clinging on like the little Klingons they're showing me right now it will attract and draw in all the high frequency energies you need to bring it into physical reality when you are in total alignment with your higher self you can create wonderful things not only for yourself but for the world this is why we're here, to raise the vibration of the planet, beautiful souls, and whatever service or product or thing or speaking or writing or whatever it is for you, beautiful souls, that you are birthing in this season, that you have diligently been working on, it is about to come to life. And the energy that is going to come from that is going to magnify and intensify across the planet because it won't just be you. You are being activated along with thousands of other light workers at this time. Archangel Amethyst. What a beautiful card. 
right? So I have amethyst in my house. I don't place any power on my crystals, beautiful souls. I write about them in my book very briefly, along with the angels as well in a specific chapter. But again, beautiful souls, God created everything on earth, every single thing, including crystals. And, you know, it even says in Revelation, you know, that um, heaven is literally adorned with rubies and, you know, all kinds of beautiful, beautiful stones. So beautiful souls. Archangel Amethyst is the twin flame of Archangel Zadkiel and carries the divine feminine energy. And how succinct that the two divine feminine energies or the most two most powerful ones show up together. Remember what I said, beautiful souls, and I just got goosebumps as I said that. The world has been under distorted masculine energy for thousands of years. Greed, control, power, money, you know, dominance, you know, um, all of those things, repressive energy. And the divine feminine energy is rising. And we all know beautiful souls. We all carry masculine and feminine. This is not about males versus females in any way, shape or form. But all of us at this time are, are dropping back into our divine feminine energy, which is love, which is compassion, which is integrity, which is kindness, thoughtfulness, peace, right? Uh, she tempers Zadkiel's violet light with the pink of love and soft white. She heals as she transmutes lower energies. Her essence is held within amethyst crystals, though which she radiates a light that clearly but gently cleanses. An effective way of connecting with her is to hold an amethyst as you think about her. When you do this, she will automatically touch you. Trust that she is doing so. She shares her etheric retreat above Cuba with Archangel Zadkiel, and from here they are coordinating a massive clearance project so that we can all move smoothly into the new golden age. A massive collective project and a massive clearance project. This card suggests you are ready for an ascension leap. Oh, yes, you are, if you have not already. However, you must first transmute any vibrations that no longer serve you. And again, beautiful souls, off the back of yesterday's message, this is exactly what that message was about. These final bits of lower dense, like dense energies that we've been carrying are literally going to be burnt off, shaken off. You know, some of it might be, you might be on your knees on the ground. Um, just depends, beautiful souls, on what's going on in your life. But just know that once that happens, once you've literally gotten on your knees, literally ground zero, they're just saying to me right now, the only way is up. Um you must be asked to examine your life. Is anyone or anything holding you back? Do you feel stuck in a particular area? Is your work satisfying or is it time for a change? Do you need to release an old belief? Talked about this yesterday, not just external but internal purification. When you have identified issues, people or energies that have fulfilled their purpose Ask Archangel Amethyst to help you release them with love. Call on her to bathe you in her amethyst light to transmute all lower vibrations. Know that she is doing all that you allow her to do in order to assist your transition. They've asked me to repeat this. Know that she is doing all that you allow her to do. Free will, beautiful souls right? We all have free will. In order for her to assist you in your transition, the power of your new visions will attract new people, different people, work or situations into your life. 
as our vibration rises, everything else that's not of us, not in the same level, must go, beautiful souls. When you start to understand that, you will then look back on your life and go, this is why the relationships didn't work. This is why the job didn't work out. This is why I didn't end up moving to that part of the world. This is why, this is why, this is why. Everything was just lessons and growth, beautiful souls, because it is all about ascension. And as you rise, you're going to bring in and attract people who are on that same bandwidth. I keep talking about it like a radio station, right? It must happen. It is the laws, the, the universal laws. Um, the power of your new visions will attract different people, work or situations into your life. Ensure that your thoughts are positive so that you only replace the old with something better. We don't want to be pulling back in old people, places, situations, things, thought patterns, programming, childhood traumas. We want to release them with love, beautiful souls in this next season. And, you know, we are all human here having this, you know, earth plane experience. It's never going to be perfect. But whatever the big stuff was that was holding you back and holding you down and keeping you suppressed and keeping you small and keeping you in fear mode and procrastination and all of those things is being released. But you must ask for it to be released. It's not just going to happen, beautiful souls. You must connect in and say, please release me from anything, anyone, all of the things that are no longer serving my highest good. If I've done my job with people, places and things around me, move me, elevate me, guide me and lead me to the next level and they will. So beautiful souls, if you have resonated with that message, big energies this week, again, I feel, because again, as I keep saying, Scorpio is big energy, but something beautiful is coming, beautiful souls, once the purification has happened. And as I said, that can be on so many different levels. It could be superficial levels. It could be major deaths and rebirths in your life as well, or people around you. So beautiful souls, if you have connected with that, hit the little thumbs up button below, share it out with other people who may need to hear this at this time. You're not going crazy, they're just saying, right? You need to know that, that this is just all part of this ascension progress, not only for us physically, like as individual souls, but also collectively. And so beautiful souls, first time viewers, if you feel divinely led, hit the little notifications bell, subscribe to my channel. Thank you too to all my beautiful, beautiful subscribers, both new and old, to all of my viewers, wherever you are in the world today, I'm sending each and every one of you so much love. Claim it, believe it, receive it, and I will see you in here for the next one. Bye for now.